My name is Gillian Barlow. I've earned my living by my brush all my life. As an artist, I was delighted to be commissioned to do this painting for the RHS, of which the Queen is patron. I have done a couple before for this collection. At the top of all these royal paintings, there is an inscription that they're usually either patrons or fellows of the RHS from a long time ago, from 1816, when the first one was done. And they're all kinds of different royals, mostly European ones relating to Queen Victoria. I looked at all the other ones. We've been through them several times, and I'm very fond of some of them. You know, some of the artists are superb artists from the earlier days in sort of late 19th century, and they were very inspiring to look at those. The brief was to try and incorporate as many flowers as possible from Wisley and from other RHS gardens. I've been able to do some stuff from the life, from specimens we've got at Wisley and other places, but otherwise I've had to use my own drawings and photos from last season. It was quite an open theme and I had to come up with four or five drawings, five sketches to try to sort of narrow it down a bit. They're very, very rough, back of the envelope stuff first, so you need to quite edit what you've got in your head down to something that would be suitable and fit the royal arms in and the inscription in as well. The complete royal coat of arms takes a long time. It's very, very fiddly. It has gold leaf on it and uh, is very, very fine work, actually. It takes about three days to do that alone. But that has to be done first. And then the inscription, I'm sort of all right at some calligraphy, but I'm not good enough for this job. And so I had my colleague, Tim Node, who is a very famous calligrapher, very, very good. He works at the College of Arms and he did the inscriptions on the last two and he agreed to do it this time as well. I use vellum quite often for this kind of special job. It's a very nice material to use, but it does have its own little ways and you do need to know how to use it. It doesn't like sunshine on it, it curls up. It doesn't like to be too wet, so you have to watch the moisture content. You have to not have your hands with any kind of hand cream or food or anything whatsoever on them because they make grease marks almost immediately and you, they're very hard to get rid of. You mustn't drop water on it. If you cry, you best to look away. <laughs> There's lots of lovely things being done for the Platinum Jubilee and I was delighted to be able to contribute to the celebrations. Mm -hmm.